So house chores, of course, daughter. Yes, house chores, uh, cooking, uh, ah. uh, take, take my children to some, uh, to um, visit my relatives. Yeah, of course, yes. of course, men. But it's all okay, the time. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah that's great. I'm happy. Yeah, that's great. I'm happy to hear that. So just, you know, let me say something. All the time we're white. White is a perfect color for you. Just all the time we're white. It's great. You look stunning. Yeah. Okay, well, so today we're going to talk about computer games. So I'm going to ask you uh, my first question. So tell me, do you play with your games? So it's something that you like to play? Uh, no, I don't like to play game, computer game. Any yeah. games, I don't like it to play. Yeah, you don't like or you don't have time? I don't like. I If I have time, I do another, play another, another things. Yeah, and how about your kids? Uh, so how about your kids? Yeah, do they play? my kids is just a boy, the boy. The boy yeah. like to play that with his friend, computer oh. game. And uh, my husband and my daughter, they also don't don't play anything. They just yeah. uh, see movie, see uh, watch movie. Yeah. They, they, uh, except my 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 son. Yeah, of course. So actually, you are not interested, but your son. Yeah, maybe is a fan of, of course, you know. Yes. Yeah, when it comes to boys, of course, you know, they're big fans of computer games. Well, How about, about you? you I like hate. To play I hate. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. And I hate, you know, I never. You know, I remember that even when I was younger, so I've never tried and I, you know, I'm not into so it's not something yeah. that's not my thing, you know, something that I really would like to do. No, never. Well, yeah. but so let's talk about computer. So tell me, how often do you use a computer and for what purpose? I use computer to work. Uh -huh. and to search information, to study. Yeah, uh, of yes. course. Uh, to send email. Yes, that's yeah. all. Very good, of course. So let me uh, share my screen. Okay. So first of all, you can say, I use. Oh, let me make it a little. Okay, maybe. Okay, larger font is better and change the color. So I use. OK, or I make use. I make use something. For example, I make use of my computer. I make use of my computer or everything. OK, it means I use it to do something. For example, to do some research. To do some research here let me put okay here i can see the first one to do some research or of course you don't play game so i'm not going to say that for example for to play game or to follow the news to follow the news so something to check my email or my Facebook, for example, status, so something like this. So I use it to or I use it for. So you can just if you make use of it to do something. OK, so I make use it of. So when I have of and it too. And no, you can see I use. I use it for, for playing game, for doing some research, for following the news. So to form, I use it for plus gerund, ing form of verb. Okay, well. 
form you make use of it to then to an infinitive. So two forms that you can ask for this question. OK, well, so tell me, uh, are you convenient, you know, for example, with computer? For example, you want to say that how when you watch, for example, when you watch movies on your computer, uh, are you feeling something? Like, do you feel convenient? It's OK. Yes, it is convenient. Yeah, it's convenient. Um, yes, yeah, it's convenient to uh, watch it. Yeah, very good. So now how to say it's convenient? You can say, yeah. of course, it's really convenient, for example, to watch movie. And now you can say it's really handy. For example, it's really handy. It's handy it means convenient for for what? For watching movies. Or etc. For for example, playing games. For for example, coding. For preparing presentations. So everything. For surfing the internet. So instead of saying it's convenient, so it's can it's really yeah. handy. It's can really convenient. It's very good convenience okay for what for for example playing games for i don't know preparing presentation shopping online so everything yeah. okay so you can actually use this phrase okay it's handy well and my uh next question okay for you and tell me uh have you ever taken a course to improve your computer skills? So I, I'm going yes. I'm going to yeah, actually I'm asking if you have taken a course to improve your computer skills or no. I just um improve my computer skill by uh, ourselves my myself i uh, self study i study by myself on the youtube to improve computer skill yeah very good so we can say that uh we are not really professional okay so we don't know a lot about something like computer so you can say i'm not computer buff yeah i'm not computer buff is a person who knows a lot about computer so computer buff is a person who knows a lot it's something like an expert and We are not experts, just we know actually something that we need to know. Like, for example, you know, the part that we use for our work like this. So we are not computer buff. Or yeah. let me teach you another word. When you want to say that I know a lot about technology or maybe I don't know. For example, you know, I'm not a person who knows a lot about technology. I'm not techie. So this one, okay, techie. A techie means a person who knows a lot about technology. Tech. Yeah, tech from technology. So especially okay. computer. Yeah, especially so a person who knows a lot about technology, okay, especially computer. So this one is techie. Computer and, for example, other equipments, like every electronic equipment. So are you a techie? 
Protecting. Okay. Yeah. For example, nowadays, normally, uh, actually, kids, teenagers, you know, they are really techy. You know, they know everything about computer, computer games. They can download, upload. If you have any question, you can ask them. So we can say that they are techy. Yes, wow. I am not. I'm not a computer buff. Um, yes, and I am. Uh, I am not computer buff. And if I have the time, I, um, I like to study much more about about computer. Yeah, very good. OK, and you said that you don't like to play with your games. Yeah, that's really good. But as, as I told you before, when I ask you, when someone ask a question and you can answer, it's good to paraphrase to use synonyms. Now, how to say I don't like to play video games and I don't repeat video games. So how to say I can say. For example, I say I don't really have time and passion. Of course, I'm not interested time and passion to play around with controllers and Consoles. For example, now your days go on, so let me define it. Okay, let me show you this one. Look at this uh, picture. Look, hmm. this one. Console controller. So hmm. when you're gonna play with your games, of course you need a controller. That is this one. To control this one, and of course, you have a console. So you can say that I don't really have the time and passion to play around. So, wait, controllers or consoles. So, this can be a good answer for do you like playing mm -hmm. with your games? Okay, well, now let me. OK, well, and now let's have a look at these words. OK, these adjectives, of course, you can use them not only for video games or, for example, for technology, so everything. The first one adjective amusing, you know, means. Fun. Amusing. Uh, exciting. Fun. fun. Of course, fun. when something is fun, amuse. Actually, it uh, Amuse. amuses you like it's fun. The second one, enjoyable. So, it makes you feel enjoyed. Comfortable. Joy. Yeah. Joy. It's enjoyable. Joy, enjoyable, enjoyable, enjoyable. Yeah, of course. Happy. Yeah, it's something like you know, it gives you joy or pleasure. So giving yeah. joy or pleasure, it makes you happy. So this one. Okay, the third one, thrilling. Thrilling means uh, actually exciting. Exciting. So it makes exciting. you feel happy, excited. So we can say it's exciting. Exciting. Yeah. And uh, next one. Breath 
taking. Do you remember that we had this adjective to describe uh, places? So it's it was, for example, breathtaking scenery view. <laughs> Yeah, it's extremely beautiful, so that it's astonish, something like astonishing. So, like exciting. Like, of course, you can use it as beautiful, extremely beautiful, amazing, or exciting. Well, so extremely, let me write it here. Here for games, extremely exciting. But for places, extremely beautiful. Breathtaking. Yeah, Breathtaking. of course. Well, the next one, the next one, mind-numbing, of course. One mind-numbing, yeah, of course. And it means boring. When something is mind-numbing, it's like boring. Not really interesting, boring. just boring. Yeah, boring. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and the next one, mm. uninteresting. On is actually a prefix that makes your adjective negative. Mm. Uninteresting yeah. is mm. not interesting. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Relaxing. And, yeah, relaxing. You know that something like yoga that makes you feel relaxed, chill out. Okay, so it's relaxing. The next one, recreational. Recreational means fun. So uh, when you do something, when something is rec recreational, you do it for fun, just for fun. It's funny. So it's something like relaxing, like funny. Okay, just this. Yeah, and yeah, obsessive. Ah, uh, this one. Yeah, obsessive. Yeah, of course, it's not good. Of course, of course, when you you know, uh, if you are obsessive, okay. So it's something like yeah, it's really bad because yeah, it's, uh, it's something like you are addicted to. For example, you think about something too much or doing it too much so for example you can be obsessive about playing games about punctuality about for example everything it means you think too much about it or you do it too much so this means actually obsessive this is adjective the noun is obsession so Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. when you cannot stop doing a particular thing or behaving in a particular way, you are obsessive. Yeah. And the next one, absorbing. Yeah, of course, it's something like very interesting. Very interesting, so it keeps your attention. So, very interesting, and keeps your attention. This one. Absorbing, absorbing. For example, just, you know, let me say something about uh, obsessive gaming. Actually, this is a disorder, you know, something like um, an individual but, person. Yeah, do you want to? Pardon, I couldn't hear you. Did you say anything? 
Uh, no, no, my son is walking in. Okay, of course, of course. So when someone actually engaged in gaming activity, you know, all day, actually, maybe it's something like, and there is no control. It's something like, and it caused lack of self-control over gaming. So this is obsessive gaming. So lack of self-control over gaming is obsessive gaming. So let me write it here because it's really good. This is a disorder, obsessive gaming. So is a lack of self control over gaming. Well, and now it's your turn. Let's make some sentences using these adjectives. It's made the sentence with this. These, right. of course. Also. Yeah, just not, not, uh, yeah. you don't need to, you don't need to separate them and, for example, make 10 sentences. No, try to use them. I want you to talk about something using this. For example, it can be about traditional games and computer games. You can compare them. Of course, some positive adjectives for both of them and, of course, some negative adjectives. Mm. As sometimes I saw my son playing game, play game. Uh, I saw my son play game with his friend. And he uh, show he looks obsessive. Wow. Uh, and and I um, and uh, have a bad behavior. Uh, so I am uh, very worried about that. Do so, you worry about his obsession? His obsession. obsession. Yeah, his obsession his because obsession. he is obsessive. So obsession. So this is a noun. Let me write. Obsession. Obsession. This is now. Yeah, it yes. means being actually uh, the state of being obsessive about something. Yeah. So let, let me give you a clue. For example, let's talk about uh, our childhood. I remember when I was a child, we used to play a hide and seek. For example, we went out with and it was really enjoyable, thrilling, of course, uh, and interesting, you know, but nowadays children and especially teenagers spend lots of time and playing video games. Yeah, of course, it can be uh, amusing, but, you know, I think I found them something like mind numbing. It's not really interesting to me, but because they found they find these video games absorbing, maybe they become obsessive. OK, this way you can use all of them in order to talk about past and present again. <laughs> too many words, <laughs> not yes, all too many words. just a few you, of you them. Can not yeah. all, just a few of them. Compare my question, please compare, make comparison. OK, uh, when? Present computer games, OK, sophisticated modern games and traditional games that we used to play. Yes, <clears throat> you used to play. You used to play. We I heard that you we ah of uh, course yeah I used to play hide and seek hide and seek yeah and now the teenager just uh, play uh, spend a lot of time to play game yeah and uh, again uh, it's the same with my 
with me. Your your sto your story is the same with mine. Um, when I was young, I uh, played many kinds of traditional game. Excellent. Uh, uh, the 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 outdoor game, but now the my um, the teenager, especially my child, my children. Uh, and they uh, uh, they are they are attacked by computers especially computer games and um, it uh, uh, they and uh, they don't find it enjoyable or the re re recreational um, like uh, I I had before and uh, they I was before. Very good, very good. Yeah, of course, very good. Well, so you know, I think uh, the most maybe the most important issue or maybe mental issue that actually is caused by computer games is actually to fill our brain dead you know people can't focus anymore so this is actually an idiom that you can use because you're talking about of course there are different idioms that you know next session i will give you more alternative this this one is really important when you feel to feel brain dead means actually you can no longer focus Especially when they play, you know, when spend, you know, too much time to play or on playing with your games, you know, it's like, you know, they feel their brain dead, like, you know, they can't focus anymore. That's because, so this is really, really, really important. Wow. Okay. And let's keep going. Eat, sleep, and mm. breathe. Yeah, yeah, of can course. You, can you help me to make uh, another yes. example about the obsessive? Obsessive? Of course, yes. of course. Okay, so let's make. Uh, about obsessive, you can say that, um, for example, my, uh, my friend. Okay, yes. so, yeah. My friend is really obsessive, okay? Is really obsessive. Now, you can be obsessive about everything, like, for example, about punctuality. My friend is really obsessive about punctuality. You know, all the time, you know, he is really on time. And, of course, you know, he ex expects for being on time. So it's something that if you delay, for example, if you are late, for even a few minutes, it makes him really annoyed because he is obsessive about punctuality. Punctuality means state of being on time. So, my friend is obsessive about punctuality. So this is the first one you can say, for example, oh, my sister is obsessive about cleaning. So he, for example, she is used to cleaning everywhere, every day. So it's something like you can find even one spot on the table like this. OK, now you do it. <clears throat> Hmm. 
now you uh, because of uh, yeah to with with your two example I understand the meaning of the obsessive yeah of course um yes um my aunt is really obsessive about the cleaning cleaning the house yes it's like your your friend yeah, your yeah. sister yeah of course yeah. i said my sister yeah well right. she she kept her house very clean and yeah. she uh, decorate her house yeah. after that she um, take a pictures of what oh. she did oh and she sent me oh to really? you to tell me about what she just did just uh, oh. what she have done um so she recurs you know, the process yes. she recurs the process of cleaning yes yes no oh. no no uh, after Oh, after, after yeah. she, before, after, after, yeah. before, before, after, yes, and she, she always tells me about uh, what, she, what good she, how well she, how clean and how beautiful her house is. Oh. Yes, how? and uh, she can, uh, she can. Um, wake up no wake up she can uh, stay at night until 2 a.m or 3 a.m to clean her house oh. yeah wow. uh, but she she just live alone she live alone she live in california <laughs> yeah yeah i know <laughs> yeah you know it's like you know why of course but it's something like mental Thank because you. uh we have you know, some people actually are i don't know obsessive about some different thing and sometimes strange things not only cleaning cleaning i think is i think something like more normal than the other things so uh there is for example now let me say something about uh actually being obsessive for example nowadays especially nowadays maybe uh young years are really obsessive about their weight. They all the time want to lose weight. They don't eat, they don't drink because they are obsessive about their weight. So we say, for example, fashion models, they are obsessive about their weight. And we see some people who are obsessive workaholic. So this one is really, I think, horrible obsessive workaholic you know you are workaholic you work a lot it means you can't you can't stop thinking about your job when you are obsessive workaholic you can't stop thinking about your job and this one is really dangerous i think yes yeah so and the word neat is an adjective means clean you can use it for example how the room is neat is tidy so something like this okay it's the opposite of messy well yeah. so is there any other questions related to these adjectives no okay it's okay yeah ah, so we have an edm eat sleep and breathe so it means to be extremely interested in something because it's very important to you. For example, uh, I don't care what the cost is. It's my passion. I eat, breathe and sleep this car. I eat, mm. breathe and sleep this car. So after that, you can use it now like something. So you eat, sleep, breathe something. It means you are extremely to be extremely interested in 
something. Because it's very important to you. Very important to you. Yeah. So let's do an example. I say, I don't care what the cost is. It's my passion. I eat, breathe, sleep this car. OK. Mm. For example, yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, my husband. Uh, my husband work hard. Uh, my my husband works hard, and he seem to eat, sleep, and bread his work. Okay, so very he's good. Just breath mm -hmm. is noun. Here you see, you should say breathe. Breathe is work. Uh, breathe. So breath breathe. is breathe. yeah. So noun breathe. So of course you can say. You can say actually one of the reasons my husband has been so successful in his career is that he eats, drinks and sleeps his job. So something like this or he eats uh, or for example, breathe, sleep. So all them you can use. Eat, yeah. drink, sleep. Yeah, they are the same. So you can say eat, sleep, breathe. So you can say something like this. Because of this, he is so successful. Yeah. 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 OK. Do you want to do another example? Or it's clear? Um, yes. My, uh, my son's eight. Used to my son used to eat, sleep, and with computer games. But now he changed. He he changed, and I'm happy about that because of that. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And but he has changed his mind. It changed means mind, yeah, yeah. he's changed, changed his mind. Yeah, of course. When we change mm -hmm. our mind, it means you know we change our behavior. So we actually uh, yeah. find different opinion about something. So he has changed his mind. I'm really happy about it. Great. Well, and this one. I'm so worried about my cousin. He spent hours in his virtual world and seems to be isolate himself from his family and friends. What it means when you isolate yourself from something, it means you become physically or socially separated from other people. So it means to become, let me write, it means to become physically, socially, Separated from other people. For example, uh, when he was thinking out a problem, when he was thinking out a problem, okay, it's something like uh, he isolated himself in his room like this so it means he separated himself from all the people from family so you can use as you can see isolate yourself from something or maybe someone yeah Well, yes, uh, my, my, my friends worry 
my my friends is worry very worry about his her son um, and although he doesn't play video game but he he um, he seemed to isolate himself from his family and his friends Mm -hmm. Of course. Now he graduated from high school, but he just stayed at home, watch TV, and he he doesn't um, communicate with others people, yeah. other people. Yeah. Of course, of course. So it's something like you know self isolation isolation can be really it's because we have this actually let me write it self isolation can be really actually yeah can be really dangerous you know for example people with depression actually something like yeah isolate themselves so self isolation can be actually a sign for like a symptom like a sign for depression so this part this one is now self isolation he is self isolation no he is self isolated isolation is noun so uh, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he self he's really self-isolated. Yeah, of course. So self-isolation is dangerous. It can be a sign for, for example, depression. Yeah. Of course, you need to actually isolate yourself. If, for example, you have infectious disease like cold. So yes. you can do it. Okay. So self-isolation somehow can be positive for example if someone i don't know has a flu or for example cold or something like this like infectious disease yeah of course it's better to isolate themselves so self-isolation is can be about protecting others yes. this one yes, yes. but at the same time it can be like depression okay mentally you yes, would like yes. to live alone, to be alone, to do alone. Okay. Well, we have a listening. So let's do this one. Do you agree? It's okay. Let's do this one. I have 10 minutes, so it's okay. Yes. Let's. Okay. okay, you're welcome. Okay, let me find 21. Unit 11, recording 3. Robert. Let me see. I think they have already changed the way we live. I mean, a lot of people like me spend a lot of time playing on computer games. Some people already spend more time in virtual worlds, like Second Life, than they do in the real world. And I'm one of them. I'm starting to use Second Life at work too. I have meetings with my colleagues in Second Life. So it's not just a game. I think people are starting to spend more and more time in virtual worlds where you can live in a castle by the beach and look beautiful and fly, etc. It's more fun and exciting than the real world where you have to worry about money. So, yes, it started as a kind of game, but I think it's really changing how we live, how we work and study, everything. Miriam. Well... They're not changing the way I live very much. I mean, they're just games like any other game. I quite like computer games, some of them. There are lots of games I don't like, like the violent games. But for me, it's just the same as the other things I do. I mean, sometimes I read a book or watch television to relax. Sometimes I go out for a walk and sometimes I play a computer game. It's not changing my life. I don't spend all my time on the computer. I use a computer for work, so I don't want to be on the computer all the time at home, too. And I think a lot of people are like me. 
In our free time, we prefer to do other things. Well, so first of all, about Robert, does he think computer games are changing the way we live? Yes. Excellent. Does he use a computer for work? Yes. And does he? I can see this one. <laughs> Why does this work? Yeah. I see it. It's not clear. So, OK, so about yeah. Miriam, because I can't see this one. OK, Miriam, does she think computer games are changing the way we live? No, really not. I heard yes. Maybe I'm not sure. No. Yeah, yes. She said no. Of course not. Nah, you said. And number two, does she use a computer for work? Um, I don't hear. I don't sure about that. She you don't. Maybe not. she. She. Yeah. You're not. You are not sure about it. Sure is I, adjective. I'm, I'm not, not sure about that. OK, so let's do something because we have the second part and we need to complete this part. Let's mm -hmm. listen again and complete OK, the sentences. Then we can actually answer the second question mm -hmm. about Miriam. So let's listen again. Unit 11, recording three. Robert. I think they have already changed the way we live. I mean, a lot of people like me spend a lot of time playing on computer games. Some people already spend more time in virtual worlds, like Second Life, than they do in the real world. And I'm one of them. I'm starting to use Second Life at work too. I have meetings with my colleagues in Second Life. So it's not just a game. I think people are starting to spend more and more time in virtual worlds, where you can live in a castle by the beach and look beautiful and fly, etc. It's more fun and exciting than the real world where you have to worry about money. So, OK, so this one first let's complete. I think they have already. Changed the way change. we live. Number two. Some people already spend more time in virtual worlds, like second line. Yeah. We think we do in the real world. I have meetings with my college in second line. It's more fun and exciting than the real world where we have to worry about money. Yeah, very good. Just about number three, colleague. You know, G sound pronounced G here. Yeah, for sounds good. Mm -hmm. So about this. OK, now, uh, Miriam, let's listen. Yes, it started as a kind of game, but I think it's really changing how we live, how we work and study. Everything. Miriam. Well, they're not changing the way I live very much. I mean, they're just games like any other game. I quite like computer games, some of them. There are lots of games I don't like, like the violent games. But for me, it's just the same as the other things I do. I mean, sometimes I read a book or watch television to relax. Sometimes I go out for a walk and sometimes I play a computer game. It's not changing my life. I don't spend all my time on the computer. I use a computer for work, so I don't want to be on the computer all the time at home too. And I think a lot of people are like me. In our free time, we prefer to do other things. OK, well, number five. Like the violence games. Violence, of course, violent, because violence is noun. Violent is adjective, so. Violence, noun. Violence games. Oh, okay. Yeah, adjective. because violence is noun. Violence, yes. yeah. I'm against violence, violent. but she is violent. violent. Okay, the game is violent. So this one is adjective, violent game. Okay, and number six. I don't spend all my time on the computer. Excellent, seven. And I think a lot of people are like me. And? In our free time, we... Um, 
We prefer to do other things. Yeah, we prefer to do, of course. And now you can answer. OK, does she use a computer for work? There's... Yes, just for work yes. now. Yeah, yes, yes, of course, yes. Yeah. OK, well, so that's it. OK, just any questions, any issues related to this right? Uh, no questions. OK, so may I ask you to no do questions. something? Uh, it can yes. be like a short assignment if you have time, of course, not uh, definitely for next session, but it's really good to do it. May I ask you to write maybe one paragraph or maybe one or two paragraphs about advantages and disadvantages of computer games? So it's yes. it's interesting topic. Yeah, because of this, you know, if you do it, it will be great. Okay. Yes, Thank you. you. If I have time, and uh, maybe uh, on Friday. On Friday. Uh, on Friday, I'm busy. So you will be off. Okay. It will be off, but uh, or what can I change to study uh, at night in Vietnam town? Ah, uh, uh, sorry, because night, you know, I normally actually my schedule is packed up to 10 p.m. in Vietnam time <laughs> every day. So morning is OK. I can find actually, you know, uh, an open slot or free time in the morning like Saturday, Sunday, uh, Thursday. OK, so it's OK, but a bit difficult. Just let me find some OK, something maybe. Oh, no, so not this one. OK, so tomorrow and uh, on Friday, Thursday and Friday, um, yeah. I will be busy with my parents. Yeah, of course, um, of course. So tomorrow Friday, and Friday, Friday, no. So you say Thursday and Friday, no. But um, let's see. OK, let's let's make it. What do you think about Monday? OK, Monday. Okay. Uh, it's 9 p.m. Maybe at. Maybe at Saturday, on Saturday we can study okay. in, instead Sat of Friday. OK, Saturday, what time? Just give me time. Uh, 10. Oh, it can be time. Yeah, just let me check. Yeah. 10 is OK. OK, 10 is OK. So Saturday, 10 a.m. OK, yes. just let me note it. OK. Saturday. You. You're welcome. Have a great day and goodbye. Goodbye. See goodbye. you on Bye. Saturday. Of course. See you. Bye.